Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Now Skills Required. If you want to learn how to be an electrical panel builder, like this. Rețea. Manual. Automat. Generator. Acoplat. Convert. Come an electrical panel builder. A very pleasant full job, a futuristical one, and I think is available all over the world. So let's get started. Alright friends, so for the video of today, I'm going to show you, this is the first video of uh, how to become an electrical panel builder. We're going to start from scratch with the tools that you're going to need to, to be an electrical panel builder. Alright, so let's get crack on. Alright friends, so first things first, you're going to need a chart, like this one, cable rating table. You're going to need a cross section of the wire, typical current, and the circuit breaker. This one, you have to print it and put it all the time with you and just consult it till you're going to learn all these values over here. All right, next thing on the line, you're going to need a project. You're going to need the schematics because you cannot build it from your own head and whatever. So, uh, schematics is a very simple one, a distribution panel one. You're gonna have to learn the symbols and how to interpret this thing. What do you, we see here, you know, for the we see L1, L2, L3. That means this is a three physical system or 380 volts or next to 400 volts. And we're gonna see here, we got a, a circuit breaker with a differential of uh, 30 milliamps. This is uh, P plus N means it's got two poles, one for the neutral and one for the positive side, and is rated 16 amps. So this is a very basic circuit breaker with the differential stuff. And we're gonna see here what cables uh, is gonna be connected to is a NHXH this is the E90 is um, fireproof and we're gonna see here 3 times 2.5 so this one is a very basic electrical wire for appliances you know for plugs mainly because on the light fixture we have 1.5 mil the cross section here you go, this is why we are talking about a cross section. As you can see, the second one, 2.5 mil, is gonna be rated to 15.9 till 22 amps, and the recommended circuit breaker is 15 amps. But because on our standards we don't have a 15 amp circuit breaker, we're gonna choose the next one, 16 amps. So that's why. The, the table, the chart is very good and uh, makes your life easier when you're going to spot the cable and the amps and the circuit breaker as well. So this one is very important, print it, have it with you all the time. So we saw the, the plan, this one is very simple one. Let's see, this one could be the beginning of the, the master thing. So what do we, we see here? We see here a big main switch, like this one. Here you go. This is a 3LN, three lines plus the neutral, three poles and 80 amps. So this one is your main breaker. It's got a, a tension liner, you know, a couple of LEDs that's gonna uh, show us if we're gonna have the uh, phase on the L1, L2, L3. So this one is the main breaker. Another uh, breaker for the tension to see if we got power or not. Then we got uh, 
a special device that's gonna drop if in just in case and you know, we're gonna have a surge or a lighting and whatever is gonna drop the tension to the special device and you're gonna drop it to the neutral bar and from the neutral bar to the uh, earthing and so on and as we move along the master thing we're gonna see we got a couple of circuit breakers each connected to a phase and so on i'm gonna explain you more in detail in the future videos let's see if we got another one this one let's see this one is the same thing we got the main circuit breaker here the thing that's gonna drop to the earth another circuit breaker a small one for three volts to signal us if we got tension or not phase and another 3p plus n 25 amps and another one 10 amps you know so basically basically simple bastard thing all right so you got a small idea how the table is looking and how the charts are looking as well all right then next you got you're gonna need a laptop you're gonna need a, a special printer i'm using vago for these uh, applications and i'm gonna show you videos you know how to uh, print labels and stuff but in the future what else you have to bear in mind these are the ending terminals this one got connected this as you can see is a green and yellow one this is for the earth connection uh, this one you're gonna plug it into the main rail and you're gonna do your connection here with a pin and the final consumer is gonna be connected here so with the printer we're gonna use it to make labels here there and whatever I'm gonna show you about the ending terminals as well this one is what's it's got a description Vago la 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 made in Germany conductor ground terminal block you see conductor ground terminal block as you can see is from the ground a terminal block in a future videos as well all right then. so let's get back to tools tools first and most used tools is the multimeter i got a couple of videos there and there you know how to to show you how to use it a very important one is um, um, the continuity test as well is well explained there how you're gonna proceed a continuity test the symbol for continuity is this one here you go maybe on your multimeter is another one but on this one HT25N is this one this is for continuity basically now we got we put it in the continuity but because we do we don't have the continuity meaning that the wire is broken or in, uh, interrupted the meter doesn't show us nothing when we're going to connect the probes you're going to hear a beep and you're going to show you a value that means you got continuity so from the terminal block to your main breaker or whatever if the sound is this you, your wire is good to go if you put it there and there something is wrong because it's not doing the thing thing here you go so the multimeter we have to do more videos about the multimeter as well but what next uh, next pretty explanatory you gotta need an electrical isolated screwdriver this one is not good but because it's small we do need it in some kind of project you're gonna need a, a flat couple of screwdrivers a phillips and a special ones as well uh, wire cutter like this one or there are various things you can need a plier maybe this one to go into tight places and then most important stuff you're gonna need a wire stripper wire stripper came into various uh, shapes and sizes let me find the wire there you go we got a wire here a thin wire this one the wire stripper is you're gonna connect it here put it into the 2.5 or 1.5 depending on how long you're gonna strip it here you go this is the thing we have managed to strip the wire come on bastard thing focusing here you go we managed to strip the wire and we're gonna attach a pin what means a pin come on 
A pin is like this. Pins are in various shapes and sizes, double ones, simple ones as well. But in the multifilar connection, like this one, basically there are multiple wires. Come on, focusing thing. Come on, bastard. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's a bastard thing. Man. So he's got multiple wires, like this one. It's a must. You have to use it. There is no other way. You have to use the pin. So after you have been stripped the wire, we're going to insert the pin in. This is the, the wrong pin for the cable, by the way. Come on. And if you manage to put it right, you have to be on top of the thing. So this one is a little bit too long. We're going to cut it. And as you guessed it, we're going to need a pin attacher. Oh basically a special tool that's made to put pins on the cable. So we're gonna put the bastard thing in. There we go. We're gonna check the connection. It's all right. But this one is a bit, little bit bigger for the cable as well. All right, so you have the wire stripper, you have the screwdrivers, the fucking multimeter, the plier thing that's meant to, to put pins still. It's got a here a gauge. 10 inches or 10 whatever is this one and if we're going to flip it it's going to open the, the this jaws a little bit more and it's going to allow you to insert 16 pins as well okay so here's another wire stripper this one you see and another one, a fixed one as well, but this one is for, for tight places, you could ping in and put it over. And as well, because there are multiple pins, multiple sizes, you have to have a lot of pliers, like this one, maybe for this one, auto, thingy bastards, here you go. And a bigger one for size 35 or whatever it is, this one, here you go, you got big jaws. Close it, maybe, it's gonna hold. And for another one, you know, for insulated thing. And as well for the big cables that you ain't gonna be able to cut them with this one or with this one. You're gonna need a special plier, like this one. You're gonna, let's turn the bastard thing on. Come on, where is the open? Come on. There you go. You're gonna put it on the cable. Uh, let me show you the cable. Here you go. We got the big cables here. I think it's size 35 or 40 as well. We're gonna put the thing in. And there you go. Easy, easy lemon, squeezy, effortless, you know, cutting the big size salami like this one. Alright, friends. And you're gonna proper need. Uh, this is a wood maker, you know, a lumbar meter, like this one, because you, the ruler is gonna not make a use for you. A thing like this for the bulbs, a screwdriver as well, and probably a lot more stuff. An angle, bastard, I think. Here you go. What else we're gonna need? Uh, like I showed you earlier, we're gonna have some terminal blocks. Next one, maybe big size chunky like this one. And the pins. As you can see here, I got multiple pins. This is uh, two times one mil. Let's see, two times one millimeter square. There you go. We got here, what do we have here? Uh, plain 1.5 millimeter square so this is a simple one we got like what we do have here two times uh, 2.5 square mil here you go this is the double one most of it you know the the most used are 2.5 2 times 2.5 1.5 1, 1 2 times 1 2 times 1.5 you see this one is uh, 
this earlier is 1.5 all right this one 2.5 maybe we're gonna use it, the four one these are the simple ones as well there are double two times here you go two times four and as we move along we do have sixes and so on all right friends thanks all for watching in the meanwhile thumbs up subscribe and uh, see you on the next episode when i'm going to show you, you know how to insert pins on the cable and how to do other various stuff as well thanks all for watching in the meanwhile thumbs up subscribe and see you on the next one here we go i'm wobbling 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 yeah yeah